Hello and welcome to the inbox review of the Edward limited edition 148 scale Godal Canal Covers Duo Combo. This kit is uh, latest edition of well known model from Edward which dates back from the year of 2000. Uh, this one is released in 2015 so this makes 15 years in the making of this kit now uh, I suppose that most of you are familiar with this one but there are a few differences between this one and those who were published in the previous years so let's take a look what's inside the box first the box art is very very nice and a bit different but on the side of the box you can see eight the eight color marking options that are available with this kit and also here you can see that it comes with resin parts let's open the box and see what's going on inside instructions as usual with Edward introduction here you can see the last H camo scheme which is on the first page for some reason then let me zoom out a bit then here are the parts callouts and the paint callouts the paint are represented in Mr. Color and Aquos Colors from Gunze. And here we start with the building process. It's usual for Edward to color, actually, three color. There is some red also. Uh, gets complicated with the different versions and you can see that you have different types of instrument panels and other stuff that goes with the different uh, color schemes so you have to be careful with this one because it, you can easily mix them up so my advice would be that you can just use some kind of marking or uh, that it will help you to uh, remember which marking you are using for instance you can use one of these markers and just highlight your marking throughout the pages so it will be easier for you to build it Here we start with the cockpit, again the cockpit, this is the masking uh, that is provided with the kit. One thing that was in the previous releases is the weight for the nose section and which is uh, absolutely necessary for this because as you know it has a, uh, a front monowheel so it, it needs the weight in the front and as I said on the previous releases the, the weight was included in the kit now it is not and not only that but there is no statement what exact weight 
we should use which is PD um, if you want you can see uh, my build from uh, previous release 2001 release of this kit it's on the link that will appear on the screen here you can see the wheels which come in resin and nice colorful pages with the camo schemes there are 8 camo schemes in total and 8 full pages and at the back you can see the stencil positioning guide. Uh, quickly going through the box, we have the decals. We have two bags identical because this is a dual combo. You can see the two bags. We will take a look at just one of them. Again, two bags of clear parts for the canopy a bag of uh, resin wheels one bag of photo edge another one with the smaller threads and masks for the canopy and uh, for the wheels and for the walkways Now, let's take a look at the actual plastic screws. They come in dark grey plastic and as you can imagine from Edward, the plastic is very good quality and detail is very nice panel lines are very crisp and uh, are very fine oh, on the other side they are deep enough to keep your washes and they are consistent throughout the model so no issues with this you have a figure of a pilot which is a very cool one figure and the sides of the front wheel well the back bulkhead or this is the front actually uh, external fuel tank parts some propellers exhaust stack the radio and uh, the deck behind, behind the cockpit which holds the radio there are some two versions of the spinner on the next, uh, on the next sprue there are the fuselage halves, the horizontal stabilizers, a bump, several types of nose sections here for different guns and uh, another part of the front wheel well the instrument panel which is really nice for injection molded the cockpit floor bulkhead behind the cockpit and this here is not used, these are the cannon pots below the cockpit floor is 
the top of the uh, front nose wheel. This is, here also is the uh, seat for the pilot. And there are also some details inside the fuselage halves for the interior. Two more exhaust tack types. I think one of them is marked as not used. The last grey plastic sprue is containing mainly the parts for the undercarriage. Uh, here are the doors for the main wheel the front wheel door doors actually here the main wheel uh, bay and also various bits and pieces the gear legs another set another set or actually two sets of uh, propellers and gun barrels, pedals and so forth. Also you have uh, wheels here which probably won't use because they are uh, resin ones in the kit but they are nice and you have weighted version and unweighted version. So that's nice touch. Next, I will show you the photo edge parts, which are very nice and are quite a lot. So you can have a nice addition to your model, so it can look much better when it's finished. This is this part is for the cockpit for of the of the kits, the two kits, and you can see you have four main instrument panels, and here you can see five different types of lower instrument panel section seat belts and various knobs and levers and everything else uh, the other part of the photo edge is this it is again parts for the interior uh, radio equipment and some uh, meshes for the intake uh, for the engine intakes and for the uh, cooling exhaust that are that is underneath the plane also some parts for the suspension <coughs> and various bits and pieces. There are two smaller threads <coughs> which are designated to be used with the resin wheels. They actually are some type of covers. I don't know what they are for. Maybe some planes had it, but I don't think I'll use them because they will cover the nice rims that the wheels have. Here they are. I don't know how many people will actually use this. I don't think that it will be much. Next, resin wheels, a whole bunch of them. Two types of wheels are provided. First type is with uh, square um, square how 
to say cross section and the other type is with rounded cross section there also two sets of covers which will have to be sanded a bit because uh, now the spokes the, the space in between the spokes is not uh, you cannot see through it so there is a bit of resin so you have to sand them down and two types of front of nose wheel one with the large tire and small rim and one with the large rim and low profile tire looks very nice there is even a firestone uh, lettering there next so I'll show you the transparent part which I was a little bit disappointed of because when you look at the pictures there is some kind of an orange skin effect on them which means that they are not really clear and there is some distortion of the image behind them, not of the image but of the objects behind them. The doors of the airplane, a bulkhead, some kind of a light and the uh, gun sight is here also. For the gun sight very visible. For the gun side there is a clear red state film provided which will be used as a reflection glass that is on the real thing. There is also a paint mask set but it, it not, cannot really be seen the masks the actual mask this is die cut and I've used them before and they are really nice in the 2000 kits in the kits issued in the early 2000s the masks were vinyl but now they are using some kind of a uh, paper that resembles very much of the Tamiya tape material. Next, let me show you the decals. They are printed by Cartograph from Italy, which means that they should be very good. Here it is lots of stars, some shark mounts, uh, nose art, of course. Uh, there was some conversation on the internet about the Hell's Bells which are provided, the, the, the marking options of Hell's Bells and on some pictures there was clearly visible that it's not Hell's Bells, more likely it is Hell's Bell. So you maybe will need to cut this S on decals. The decals are really nice in register, uh, maybe a little bit thick but very glossy and with uh, nice clear coat underneath there should be no silvering whatsoever. As you can see you have walkways provided on the decals but you also have the option to paint them with the paint masks. 
So there is what to be made here. One thing that I saw on my example on my kits was that there is some type of blistering or I don't know how to call it and it's not really visible here maybe you can see it on the camera and it's not always hidden it's on some very nasty places I don't know I have never seen such a problem on other kits not only Edwards but any other kits and I am not sure how to deal with this here you can see it but I really hope that this is only on my or on a group of kids that's limited because Edward is a company that everyone thinks of, of like making quality products, high quality products and this one is a bit disappointing here maybe it's the, the edge of the of the tool but I don't know on the other hand there is no flash everything every detail the surface details are crisp and everything but some sort of issue here and I think this is this concludes this inbox review and you can click on the link that will appear on your screen to see the accompanying part of this inbox review which is on my website it, the website is mmscalemodels.com and there you can see detailed images of the parts also some in-depth review and just just take a look at the site you may like it and please comment like this video and see you for the next one